This video demonstrates how to provision a traditional data store for iSCSI SAN and associate it with a storage capability profile. The following are the high-level steps for creating a traditional data store and verifying its configurations. A storage capability profile is a set of storage system attributes that identifies a specific level of storage performance, storage efficiency, and other capabilities such as encryption for the storage object that is associated with the storage capability. Log in to the VMware vCenter. In the Virtual Storage Console homepage, click Storage Capability Profiles. Click Create to create the SCP. Provide a name and description for the storage capability profile. Click Next. Select your platform type as AFF, Select either None or QoS Policy Group for the SCP. The performance service level is applicable only to VVOL data stores. The storage attributes you can enable in this tab depend on the storage type that you select in the Personality tab. If you select Fast Storage, you can configure Space Reserve, Thick or Thin, enable Duplication, Compression, and Encryption. If you select AFF Storage, you can enable Encryption and Tiering. Review the summary and click Finish. After creating a storage capability profile, you can create a data store and associate the storage capability profile to it. Provisioning a data store creates a logical container for your virtual machines and their virtual machine disks. A storage capability profile enables you to create data stores consistently with common attributes. To create a new data store, click Overview in the VSC home page and then click Provision in the Getting Started tab. The new data store wizard is displayed. In the General tab, specify that, in the Provisioning Destination field, you can attach the data store to a single host, to all the hosts in a cluster, or to all the hosts in a data center. Select the data store type as NFS or VMFS. In this video, we will create a VMFS data store using iSCSI protocol. Enter the size of the data store. You can see that the Use Storage Capability Profile for Provisioning option is selected by default. In the Storage System tab, select the Storage Capability Profile that you created earlier. The Storage System and SVM details are pre-populated and can be modified if required. In the Storage Attributes section, VSC populates the recommended aggregate for the data store. You can select VMFS5 or VMFS6 from the advanced option. Click Next. Review the summary and click Finish. A success message is shown. Click OK. You can view the task status in the Recent Tasks tab. A FlexVol volume is created in ONTAP for backing the data store. After you provision a data store, VSC automatically creates a volume or LUN to support the data store. It determines which export rules or initiator groups to use or create, associates the data store with a storage capability profile, and mounts the volume or LUN on the appropriate hosts. You can then verify these configurations. To view the data store properties, click the data store and view the volume, LUN, and aggregate details associated with the data store. On the VSC homepage, Click Traditional Dashboard to view the status of your ESXi hosts. Click on the number of hosts for a detailed view. Thank you for watching this demonstration on how to provision a traditional data store. 